Oh my god. <laughs> I finally pushed uh, around Lucy and I looked real funny and Tim saw me and said, What's the matter? And I said, I'm going to stay here. Still out there. start looking for a job anywhere in Columbus or Austin or here, you know, on Career Builder. Yeah, and Willis said, I don't know, he got on the internet and looked under the government and he, he'd already found something, a, a patient advocate in the emergency room at, mm. the, new room, at the, the emergency room at Riverside Hospital and mm. so he sent in his application that, but he found two things on the internet that he went and applied for, and it was, um, you know, some kind of, it was for the state. One was uh, you know, for people housing, some type of housing. Work. He would be good at that. Well, the state here requires all the jobs nearby except. Uh, just menial workers require degrees and shit. <clears throat> I am not putting them on my resume. I am not. I'm going to call HR in the morning and tell Melanie from Thibodeau that I won't be back and why. So, and ask her would she kindly mail my check? So they owe me for two days this week. After they, after got paid last? No, tomorrow's payday. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Which won't be on tomorrow's No. No. So, ah, life is too short for that shit. It's just horrible and just ugh but anyway I'm, I'm glad I'm not going back surely I, I'll just have to take something no matter what but anyway I just want no mm -mm. Uh, no I couldn't get an extension, they told me. They don't let you know that you have to apply a certain month and week after you, you know, before that your unemployment ends until you try to get an extension. Well, you should have applied on such and such a date. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have that, that money. <coughs> So I can dip into that. Um, I think I have, what is it? I can't remember. Oh, I rolled over 8000 from my 401k that I can get money out of. But, I, you know, I'll pay taxes on it. But I can get money out of that anytime I want it. So that'll get me through surely until I can get something. So, I have a black friend in Detroit, Michigan that worked um, for uh, 
Atlantis, when they had a bunch of people from a temp agency that just specializes in claims, me and her got to be friends, and she calls all the time. And I told her about these Niger these Africans, and she told me the other day, she said, I was sitting up in bed, and, I, and she got fired up, up in there and hadn't found her job. She said, I was sitting up in bed and thought about you and those Africans, and I just fell out laughing. And she's black. <laughs> She said, you need to buy a box of staples and take them in there and say, here, here's it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, got, I got one line of staples Monday morning. But you know, um, just like they have uh, traveling nurses, and all looks like you could go to places where they were behind in their class. I'm registered with two of them, and nobody has called me. It seems like all the doors were shut except this funky place. So I, don't, I got a call uh, yesterday from a guy from another company that I'd sent a resume over the internet. But he said he would forward it on to the peop the head of the department for claims auditor, but I haven't heard from him today. I might give it, but it's in Hendersonville. It's like 20 miles north of here where they have a whole bunch of wrecks every morning and every evening in the rush hours. But I... Uh, Something will come along, just like this did. But I refuse to be treated like that. I'm sorry. I have lived too long. Yeah. So I had decided if I'm going to go in there and tell him off or just not go back. Well, maybe whatever's easiest on you. I mean, if it was you, you know, that would be a hard thing to do. And it'd probably be escorted out. No telling what they would do. Call the police or something. I don't know. But everybody, according to Shay, the one that trained me that's trying to get out of there, she's black. She said, the person you replaced just went to lunch. She'd been here almost two years and went to lunch and didn't come back. And people just don't give them a notice because of the way they're treated. Yeah. Yeah, this was my fifth week starting to... And she didn't lie about nothing. Mm-hmm. And I think it was Monday, I went around to the bathroom and the door was locked. And I said, oh, just out loud, I'm locked out of the bathroom. And then the door opened from inside, and it was the owner's wife. She's the administrator. She said, oh, you can come in. She was in there by herself with the door locked. I'm, I just have never in my life. Mm. I didn't know nothing like that And then when in our, depart, in our company-wide meeting after that, your work hours are eight to five. It was like you cannot, Grace, she's the owner's wife. You would be at your desk working at 8 a.m. You would not be looking for coffee or creamer or sugar or fixing your breakfast. You will be at your desk working. Oh. <laughs> uh, Not in America. Mm. Everybody just, just stunned. And if you go on break and you see someone from your department already on break outside, you go back into work. <laughs> oh. I, I, ooh, I can't take it. I can't take it another day. I don't, uh, I don't have to grovel at this point right now. But I would, I'd rather go up to uh, Applebee's and watch this. Yeah. Right, sit with the chicken. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I'm going to call my friend in Detroit and tell her I <laughs> had enough of Nigerian ghetto. She probably couldn't take it. Uh-uh. No. Nope. But anyway, <clears throat> I don't got it as far as I'm concerned. Mm. I, <clears throat> I just sleep in in the morning and call them when I wake up. Yeah, because I'm always there. Uh-huh. I'm always there. First one in there working. So, let him do the building. A little fat, dumpy, stuttering bastard. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to go. I don't know. Well, I'm glad. You'll be okay. Yep. <clears throat> Every now and then I see something for Signa up there. I don't know why. But uh, I'm going to keep looking. <clears throat> so, but I'll let you know what the next version is. Okay. <laughs> Great. Ain't going back in. I don't like it. I just... I, It wouldn't bite me anyway. I don't know. Mm -mm. No, they don't care. So they owe me that money. Yeah. 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 They don't want to have to pay a lawyer. You know, they'd have to get a lawyer if he's filed into charges. Yeah. So I'm not worried about getting my money. But I Rolling out at 5:30 in the morning. Well, that's good. Yeah. Have a good day and let me know. Okay. <laughs> Bye.